welcome back to Soul Creative. This is Sarah. I am here to share another little mini tutorial with you guys. We're going to make angel ornaments. And what you're going to need is a 6x6 six six piece of paper, a scoreboard, something to score with, and a bead, some ribbon, and a hole punch. So what we're going to do is we're going to score this, which I have already done. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take it and you want to start away from you and you want to score it on the first score line. And we're going to do an accordion fold. back and forth the whole way across making sure we're doing it on the score line try not to get off of it it's very easy to um with it being a quarter of an inch Try to stay as close as you can on that score because it's pretty, um, it's, it's really important when it comes time to have to use our hole punch. And I found that out by trial and error. be easier you could always go with uh, a little bit wider like you could go with a uh, three eighths of an inch just your accordion will be will be bigger obviously but it might be a little bit easier to work with and it wouldn't be too much bigger for the size of the paper. Okay, so I'm going to finish this and then I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back and we did our score lines. We burnished it and this is what we got. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a tremor or you can take a piece or a pair of scissors. Just mark uh, however big we're going to cut it. So I think with this one we're going to cut it at one and a half. Might have to flatten it out a little bit. You could do it before you do the accordion. I just found it's a little bit more tedious due to the fact uh, you have to um, hold such a small piece when it's you know you're folding it like that so okay so then we cut it and then we need to make sure we fold it back up here the way that we had it, hopefully.
Okay, so then what we're going to do is I have a crocodile. And so I'm going to take it and use it as a punch. Now, I do have a regular punch. But I'm not sure that it would go through all of this. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to. Make a regular punch. So you you can take an awl and hold it down, clamp it down, and hold it down and run an awl through it. You just need a hole, and I'll show you why that is here in a minute. So you don't want, you want to make sure it's in the middle. You don't want it too close to the top, but you don't want it real far away from the top. So that's what I got. And then you got to hold the whole way across. And then... We need to fold these back up. Okay, so then we got our pieces. I was off a little bit, so I'm going to trim that off. Okay. So then what we want to do is our big piece right here, you want, depending on how you want it, but I'm going to let the, this is like a yellow, but it reminds me of a gold or red, yellow. Reminds me of like a gold yellow, so... What you're going to do is you're going to take your actually we'll just do it with the white. So what we want to do is we'll take the big piece and you lay it down and you want it to have the yeah you will just lay the white down and then we line up the holes over here and then you line up the holes over here and I need to find me a piece of ribbon because I forgot to do that I think I'm just gonna take this uh, it's a navy navy blue so we want to scrunch this back up and we want to run a hole, run our ribbon through the hole into the last one. Well, you know what, let me get my, uh, let me get my needle. It's a little bit easier to do with the needle. And if you have a big enough one with a bigger eye on it, then I would use it just a little bit easier, even though the ribbon will go through. So you want to go through all your holes. 
when you get to the last one, you want to make sure that you're over top. So then when you go through, you're going through both of them. And then you'll go through the whole big set of holes until you get to the end. And then you want to make sure that you have this over top of your last set and go through those and then you'll go through all your other ones the whole way through I think I'm making it look difficult. <laughs> okay, so once you got them all through, what you'll do is you'll pull it together. Up at the top, and you'll make a knot. At least I do, I make one. And then what we need is we'll need a bead. And just go with this one. Then we will thread our ribbon, string, whatever you can get through your size of hole that you're using. Personal preference. See if I can get both of these threaded on here. There we go. I think we're going to need a bigger bead. <laughs> Try this one. There we go. Put this bead on there. There we go. And then we just tie it off. And then you decide how high off you want your little hanger. And you tie that off cut off the excess excess and that's there you go you got your little angel bead what do you guys think? I love them they're so cute and I made uh, several of them actually I will share them with you here in a minute let me get my needle out of the way. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I just wanted to clean up a little bit, get everything out of the way. And I'm going to show you the other be beauties I made. These are the other really cuties that I made. And then... I'll show you my journal. And the one that I made for today. 
Isn't she cute? So you can make them any size, any size that you like. And there you have it. This is day 20 and five more days to go until Christmas. So I hope you guys are all safe, doing well, and if you're not, uh, my thoughts are with all you guys, hopefully you'll get better soon, and, uh, it's been a trying year for everyone, but I got faith that we can all get through it, and, yeah, so I, I will be back with another video, until then, I will see you when I see ya, later!